हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू मयूर प्रोग्रामिंग क्लब टूडे वी विल बी सॉल्विंग अनदर डेली लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम एंड द प्रॉब्लम्स नेम इज नंबर कॉम्प्लीमेंट तो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट गोज लाइक दिस द कॉम्प्लीमेंट ऑफ एन इंटीजर इज द इंटीजर दैट यू गेट वेन यू फ्लिप ऑल द जीरोज टू वंस एंड ऑल द वंस टू जीरोज इन इट्स बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव्स बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन इज वन जीरो वन ओके एंड इफ यू फ्लिप वंस टू जीरोज एंड जीरोज टू वंस इट बिकम जीरो देन इट बिकम वन एंड देन इट बिकम जीरो सो जीरो वन जीरो ओके सो विच इज बाय द वे बाइनरी रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ टू ओके so given a number you have to return its complement okay and there are certain things that you uh, might keep uh, into mind while converting a number into its you know complement uh, see the binary representation of 5 is 101 so we are not considering the leading zero bits so it is important because uh, there uh, uh, if you consider the bit positions okay so 0th bit first bit second bit third bit and it will go up to 31st bit which is the most significant bit okay so you know uh, if 5 is uh, only limited to the third bit or the second bit in a zero based indexing so all of the remaining bits will be zero okay so we are not considering these ones okay let me change color here so you will not be considering these ones okay so you you will only be considering the uh, uh zeros which are not leading zeros okay so towards this side you should not consider okay so in a way uh, we can say that if we start from the very uh most significant bit or uh, we should be ignoring that i will tell you in a little bit while if we go from this direction we should be finding uh the most significant uh, bit okay o or the first bit that is set you can say okay most significant bit uh, will be 31st obviously and the first bit that will be set from left to right direction okay and that will be this bit and starting from this bit you will start flipping the bits okay so if it's a 1 then it will be a 0 and if it's a zero then it will be a one okay previous to that first set bit you should not be doing anything okay uh, it should be remaining all zeros okay so this is one observation that you have to make and uh, yeah before thinking of an approach it is always good to have a look on the constraints because it helps us to think which approach would uh, be able to solve this particular problem provided the given constraints are there okay so the value of the number that will be given to you will be of order 2 raised to power 31 okay and uh, let's see how we can solve this particular problem so as i told you uh, the very first thing that you must be doing is you should be finding the first set bit from left to right direction okay so this bit you should be focusing upon the first set bit from left to right direction okay and since uh, negative numbers are not there and anyways we will be ignoring this most significant bit so we will be starting our search from the 30th bit in a zero based indexing okay so let's see how we have implemented our solution so this is the logic that we have implemented in java the logic was that we will be starting from left to right direction starting from the 30th bit and going up till the 0th bit and as when we see the very first uh, set bit while moving in this left to right direction then we will be 
starting our flipping operations okay and we will continue till the number is exhausted or you have passed this zeroth position okay so this is what you will be doing firstly there will be a variable that will indicate that you have seen your first set bit while moving in left to right direction okay so from the 30th bit to the zeroth bit you will be moving okay and uh, then you will be having a mask like uh, number what it represents it's for example if you there is one and you right shift left shift this one by one place then its bits will be shifted towards left okay so it will now become 0 1 0 0 0 0 okay so as you see you shifted it by one place earlier it was here its original position was here on the zeroth bit okay but you now shifted it to the first bit okay so this is what a shift operation is so it will give you something like this okay depending upon the number of times or the bit position that you are shifting it okay number of times it's shifted to the left okay so uh, you will have this mask like thing so this will be called mask okay and once you are having this what you will be doing is you will be uh, doing an end operation of this particular mask with the number so what it will give us let's say the number was 5 101 uh, one. okay and uh, let's say you shifted one by zero positions okay so zero shifts towards left so it remained uh, zero 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 and one on the zeroth position okay or zeroth bit position now the mask will be looking something like this okay and if you do a end operation of these two what you will get you will get a number which is non zero because at least one of uh, the set bits are coinciding in both of the numbers the mask and the original number itself okay so it will not be equal to zero okay so it indicates that the bit po the number of times that we have shifted that bit position is currently set okay so we will say that okay uh, because the current bit is set so this is the first set bit if uh, set bit uh, found in uh, variable is already set to false okay so it will indicate that you have seen your first set bit okay and uh, you will set uh, the value of this set bit found variable to be true and you will be starting your flipping operations from this point okay and if it is true then you will do the flipping so now you should be asking that how we will be doing this flipping for that we will be using or operation xor operation okay not or operation xor operation so what happens in xor operation is if you xor one with itself it becomes zero any number XOR with itself become zero okay and if you XOR zero with something any number it becomes that number okay so this is uh, some property these are some properties of XOR so if let's say you XOR uh, there is a zero let's say five is again taken example of five binary representation and let's say the mask was something like this okay and if you want to do a xor operation okay this is a symbol of xor operation so one and zero one again one and uh, zero uh, it will be set to one okay and again one and zero it will be set to one so you see how we are flipping the bits okay 
so if a particular bit is set then you will be uh, flipping uh, the bit or if it's unset then you will also be flipping the bit okay so this xor operations helps us to change zeros to ones and ones to zeros okay so and then you will be simply returning your number okay i hope it's clear to you so it's just for the sake of flipping the bits so here we are flipping the bits okay and uh, if we want to have a discussion on the complexities here so if you want you can consider this as a time complexity of order of 30 so since 30 is a constant it will not depend upon the input that you are getting the number input so you can take it as a constant okay or you can say order of one time complexity and space complexity wise since we were not using any extra space and just using a boolean variable so space complexity wise it's also constant okay order of one so this is uh, what the logic of the problem is firstly you have to find out the first set bit moving from left to right direction then you should be doing a xor operation to flip the bits okay so uh, that is what we will be doing that at each time we will be flipping that bit if it is zero then we, it will become one so although it's it was just showing the xor operation the uh, correct example would have been if we take if you want to take it let's say five is this and then your mask is this okay so representing the current bit position and you are trying to flip this bit okay so this is the bit that you are trying to flip okay and if you want to flip this bit if you do xor operation since uh, these two are same uh, it will be zero okay next time let's say you want to flip this bit okay so next time your ma uh, mask will be looking something like this okay now your number is uh, the new number is this okay and uh, this is your new number and you want to flip this bit okay so your mask will look like this okay so this time you will again do xor operation and uh, if you do xor operation this thing will remain same and uh, 0 and 1 will become 1 okay and now this one will be copied as it is okay next time you will be wanting to flip this particular bit okay the next bit to be flipped okay so next uh, time uh, you will be your mask will be looking something like this and your new number will be this okay so your this will be your new number and your mask will be this okay this will be your mask and you will be doing a xor operation again then it will be zero uh, and one will come as it is and one and one xor will be uh, you see zero so you will get the final result okay so it is the flipped version of the original number so this was your original okay so that is how this xor operation is essentially happening uh, i by mistake showed you the working of xor operation in general but here specifically it will be working like this like bit by bit you will be generating masks and uh, flipping those bits okay so i hope everything is clear and uh, if you are still having any kind of doubts or any queries in general then you may ask them in the comment section and i really hope this solution walkthrough added some value to your journey of learning your dss skills until next time keep solving more and more problems and i will be seeing you in the next video thank you for watching